It's like considering road conditions right. too. Oh no, oh. he's going oh. Ike. He's getting ready. All right, he, <laughs> he knows. <it> <laughs> Already, Dan is just putting in effort with a very clean fifty percent. That yeah. simple combo, simple but effective. So the and uh, so now this is basically what the uh, what this matchup is like in a nutshell, where Ike tries to approach for half a second and ends up eating 100% off of Mario combos. Having a Mushroom Kingdom like buffet of like death at that point. Yeah. But being able to, like, all that Ike has to do is just get a few straight hits at a really strong, a few simple combos coming from his fast fall, nair, or anything, and he's already at 50%. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, like, Ike hits really, really hard, like, it's, especially in this game. Mm-hmm. So like it, it's all a matter of just like finding the spacing and just trying to find those windows to get into those combos. But right now Dan is in full control. He's not really pushing it at all. Although without Rage now, a lot of those shenanigans are going to start to work with Razor. Mm -hmm. Back oh, air is right. right out of that uh, of that combo attempt. That was very good stalling coming from Dan going on the stage, not getting hit by the neutral B. When he was able to take off Razor's first stock. He did the right, like, the perfect option right there, because Down Smash being one of Mario's fastest options, I believe frame six coming out. Very, very good awareness from him at that point. Right now, just simple footsies. At that, that tool right there, Flood and Cape are going to be really scary against Ike with how predictable and linear his recovery is. Because either you're just going to be, like, squirted aside, or you're just going to be just, like, flipped against, and you're just gone completely. Back air cross up once again now. Dan in an edge guarding situation is trying to get back on stage. Ooh. The up smash trades. Going for the back throw. Not going to kill just yet, but he's going to have to. Yeah, just what I was saying. Trying to just use Flood to get him off and just miss the ledge and die. That was a super close Flood. I, I yeah. thought that for a second he was just going to snag him right on the way down. but mm -hmm. Oh, that fireball just barely clipped. Good, good defensive options coming from Razor. And now just slapping him across the face with the sword. Saying, I have a chance. It's going to be really hard for Razor to come back with Ike, but it's, it is possible. Down tilt in the forward air. Classic trying bread butter. He's trying to catch Dan on the landing. Mm -hmm. And so far, it's been putting in some mixed results. Mm -hmm. Nice forward tilt. Anticipate the forward smash and kind of put the brakes on his approach right there. It's very smart for him to not like try and use any of the uh, special recovery options because Dan is just, just prepared. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, just like that. See, like, that's ultimately the biggest problem with Ike is that if it, it's just a matter of time before he has to exhaust all of his resources, use that up B to get back, and then Mario just, it's all a matter of just... It's a very exploitable, him. gimpable, and when Mario has those, like, hilariously powerful tools, it's just, it's just what happens. I've seen a lot of people where Ike tries to recover high, and all Mario will do is just spray across the stage, and then it's just like a freaking Hanna-Barbera cartoon and just, noom, just from left to right of stage. Yeah. Still sticking with Ike, I feel like he wants to really try and test his character out, or just like maybe like prove a point. I mean, I, I, I think no. The the reason I actually was like like listen in on, the, but you know while he was like worn up, it's like the reason why he's playing Ike is because he's getting ready for Ultimate. That it's is because fair, yeah. it's because he's been seeing all the videos like oh man, you guys got Ike dog, he's super sick, and like okay, well yeah, it's true. Ike's, Ike and Smash Four, I feel like, is a whole different breed from. It Ike is gonna, Ultimate. and that's uh, that's the thing. Like, you know, it's it's gonna be a little bit different, but you know what? But having you, having some kind of semblance, it's fine. It's better than none. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's fine. But so far, once again, Dan having just a super super solid control over the game. Mm -hmm. Just all the empty hops right there. Good job using the uh, down tilt forward air. Again, the simple bread and butter. Just I will say that uh, one thing that Razor is consistently doing is that it, like, he's always been known for his patient gameplay. Like He's been playing very, very patient neutral with this character, and it's, it has been paying off. So to the point where it is letting him to be, run at least a little bit even. Mm -hmm. Not going much. Oh, he oh, didn't even matter. Tried to get the grab in, but yeah, just, just came up a little bit short and needs the up smash, and that's going to be the stock. This is going to be a very large deficit for Razor to come back to. Yeah, like, this, this is rough. Really this is like hard. the exact same kind of story as it was in the first game where it's just falls into a huge deficit. And once again, Dan's just w keeping a lot of solid control on this entire situation. Like 
He really tried to get that fireball gimp, and now just stealing his lunch money right there. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah he's yeah. Dan's like locking this down. He's like, all right. It's Ooh, over. ledge being able to block off Ike's recovery and being able to safely get back to ledge now in center stage, but definitely uh, not an advantage at this point, and just it's gonna be hard for him to get that point. It's gonna be really hard. He's not wanting to commit to too many options. Yeah. Like, he knows he has to approach, but... Yeah, just trying to space out down tilt as much as he can. Mm -hmm. And the problem is just trying Ooh. to find a way to kind of trick Dan to get into those kill options. But mm -hmm. Dan is playing really, really well right now. Yeah, uh, he's I on feeling that, you know... He's, he's on fire, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, he, he's, 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 he's got a good control on this match. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to end up in a two-sock. Right? Although right now... Uh, Ooh, Ooh, just one coin. One coin will do. That's if all you, Actually, if Razor would have let that rip, I think it would have killed. Like, yeah. level one Inferno. Oh, that's there we go. That, there that's, go. A, that's a good one. That, that's a good answer to that. Because mm -hmm. he hasn't used that at all in the previous match and anything any time before during this match either. So that was very unexpected. I see a lot of Ikes do like that option, though. Like, it's, oh. Oh, but regardless, yeah. yeah. And that's going to end it out. Mm -hmm. So Razor trying out with the Ike on the last time, but he's going to be setting the losers. I think we're, that's where he's going to be like, all right, you know what? Yeah. Might as well try to pull out the bail for one more ride and ride, ride. stuff like that. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, Razor, I mean, still, despite all uh, despite all that, he still played neutral with Ike really, really well. Like, right, he was, yeah. He was patient.